All right, what we have here is a ultrasonic sensor, and we've got a lot of output. The x-axis is in centimeters, and that top line is the actual input as it's coming in. You see some nulls, it's flickering, because we're not always getting new value at any moment. The one underneath it, that pink one, is the um, pretty much the sustained value. So is that value ignoring the flickering and stuff, just maintaining it from one step to the next. The light blue underneath it is um, with a low pass filter on. So if I move it up, you can see it all moves slowly, um, or more smoothly, I should say. And um, it goes slower as it approaches the actual value because it's essentially just proportional. Uh, the green one is a median filter so um, it moves a bit more jerky, uh, but it also responds a bit faster uh, to the pink signal, basically, is what we're comparing all these to. But um, the reason you would do that filter is that it's a little more resistant to jumps like that. You see the blue one kind of jumps way up if you get like a spike, whereas the green one's pretty stable. However, the green one's not immune to kind of jumps, and there's a certain degree to which, you know, maybe that's an actual, like, legitimate amount of time to change your focus. Nevertheless, it also has that jerky motion. So the final one for now, I'm putting a low-pass filter on the median pass filter just to smooth out its motion so you see, you know, it avoids jumps for the most part, not always, but... Um, you know, stuff like that. It certainly behaves better than the uh, blue bar for the most part. Um, but it's got a little bit more of a smooth motion than the green one, which isn't jumping around too much for now. Uh, if I try to make just the uh, median, the range of median, or the range of input values that that median is taking, um, too big, then yeah, it avoids jumps really well, but it's also super slow. And the, um, then if we were to put a low pass filter, I'm just gonna adjust this one, sorry. Put a low pass, a low pass filter on top of that, it would be incredibly slow, because you see it, the low pass filter does create a bit of a delay. Anyway, so the point of this is I want it to like focus on what I was looking at. So if you look at my uh, ultrasonic sensor, it's basically a distance sensor. I'm focusing on that wall over there, the nice blank wall. It's far enough away, considering that this is only half a meter, that distance is more than half a meter to there. So we see that everything is maximum, but now I focus on my laptop screen and it jumps down to uh, 15 centimeters, which is pretty much what we have. And in fact, I put my phone in front of it. You know, I can get it all pretty accurate and it works. It seems to work very well with a laptop screen in these kinds of distances, which is what I'm going for. And then, I, you know, focusing it to the um, just to the right over there, there's meters of space. So not much happens, and then you look at the screen. So that's actually working pretty well. You saw there that the uh, um, low pass filter on its own basically uh, took way too long to recover. Even the purple I'd like to get faster, but I figure it doesn't matter if it spends a little extra time focusing on something that's near. Much more annoying would be as if it keeps jumping around. So I think the uh, combining the median and the low pass is pretty good.